Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Jobs here with Fandroid.com taking a look at the all-new Android 5.0 Lollipop Developer Preview. Now this is uh, an updated build from the Android L Developer Preview that we showed you guys a few months back during Google I.O. and as running on the Nexus 5. Uh, this one is a lot since, you know, we're a lot more closer to a final release and Android L or Android 5.0 rolling out across Nexus devices, Motorola devices, and carrier devices somewhere down the line. Uh, this is a lot more closer to a final build. So with that, there are a ton of new updated apps. There's a ton of new features on here. Uh, the other one was bare bones, and this one is a lot more closer to what you can expect when you see Android L running on uh, stock Android devices. So I'm going to go ahead and just start this setup process here. Um, it seems here that there's some kind of weird stuff going on with my Wi-Fi. Uh, forget that one. Uh, let's see if we can forget that one. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Don't want to show you guys my password because we ain't cool like that yet. Let's see. 66. Okay. Oh, there we go. Looks like we're in now. Not too exciting, but just <laughs> wait. Here we go. Tap and go. This is the coolest feature to happen to Android um, since I, I don't even know when, but um, very, 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 very cool. So what you do is you take one of your old Android devices and you can import your account um, information so you don't have to type in your password or mess with that stuff or any of that junk. You can just tap two devices together like so. You hear the little beep. Bluetooth will be used. That is okay. Tap that on my Moto X. And these two guys are talking to each other going to bring me straight to my Google account since it knows who I am. Go ahead and type in my Google account password. Uh, and it's adding my Google account and it's going to look up some other pretty cool stuff too. Watch, just you wait. You're going to freaking go nuts. I mean, I can't, honestly can't contain my excitement. So, <laughs> typically... Uh, when you s set up a new device, if it's not the same, uh, if it's not the same device as another device, you don't really get backed up apps or data from other devices. It's only if you uh, were to have a device like a Nexus 5, use it for a couple months, factory reset it, then you can get all those apps and stuff downloaded again. Um, this is completely different. So, this is a new tool here. You can see here, uh, restore from this backup. You can actually choose which devices you want to restore to this device here. Uh, the device that you're using. So if I click on this here, Nexus 5, you can see here I got my Moto X, which was backed up uh, 20 days ago, Xperia Z2, another Xperia Z2, my, my Google Glass even, and even my LG 2 So this is all the stuff that's on my account right now. Um, and I can choose one of these devices to back up to. So if I click Moto X and click Done, you'll see here that that's been updated to show 131 apps. So I had a lot of apps that were on that, that phone in particular. And I can go in here and say, you know what, I don't want to download any games or mess around with that stuff right now. I want to keep it simple. Um, or you could just not. You can uncheck all of them or just, you know, check the ones that you want to get. I'm going to go ahead and just restore from a Nexus 5. Um, and let's see how many apps. 77 apps. So that was from earlier today. That was my old, running the old Android L developer preview. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just click Next. Google services, questions, and opt-ins. I'm cool with all those. Google Now. Yes, I'm in. Love Google Now. And restoring. So, uh, this is pretty epic if you're an Android, if, whether you're a custom ROM flasher, you're constantly upgrading and changing devices. This is absolutely groundbreaking here. And as you see here, right off the bat, it's going to ask you to choose your home app. I'm going to go with Google Now Launcher. And uh, just wait for this. This is very, very similar to what you see on iOS and such. So uh, immediately, it's showing you all the apps that are going to be downloaded. They're already populated on my home screen exactly as I left it. Exactly as I left it on the Nexus 5 running a completely different Android version. Uh, uh, so awesome. Um, and they're all grayed out, but as they are downloaded... Oh, look at those animations. Uh, as they're, they're downloaded, you can see here, it's downloading messaging. Um, it'll go ahead and color them in for you. So, uh, pretty, pretty darn epic. So, uh, with that, I guess we can kind of start jumping into some of the other new changes with Lollipop. Uh, of course, there is, I mean, first off, you have the home screen here. Uh, a lot more animations and such. So, clicking this, you can see here, boop, my app drawer. Look at that animation, guys. Are you, are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? Uh, very similar to when you push um, the Google 
the Google Voice search button. <sighs> so, so bloody wonderful and beautiful. Pulling down once will bring you to your notifications. You now have a clear all button, which wasn't available uh, previously on uh, the last Android L developer preview. Pretty darn cool. Um, okay, so it's doing a bunch of crazy stuff. You can see here these little animations. Uh, when you pull this down here, you can see the little gear kind of from the settings just kind of rolls out there. Freaking wonderful. Long pressing one of these guys will show you the app that it's uh, what the app that belongs to that notification or where the notification belongs. Really, really cool. Long press it again and kind of show you. Uh, lost my notification. There we go. Long press it and show you. Boom. Google Play Store. Really, really cool. Um, there is two-factor um, authentication or setup two-factor authentication through the setup wizard. But since I don't have that turned on on my Google account, it didn't really bring me to that. Uh, but just keep that in mind as well. Um, notifications, we kind of just showed you guys there. Swipe them to clear them out. Uh, pull down again and you pull up your quick settings and you can still kind of swipe stuff out if that finishes installing and I can show you and then swipe those out you got your automatic brightness setting stuff to turn that kind of low <clears throat> jumping into the settings um, pretty much you know what we saw with Android L not too much different here uh, well actually I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you the recent so if I jump into recents Google Play Store Camera, messaging, nope, can't open that yet. Uh, and then my recents here, you can see here that uh, I can scroll through them here, but the Google search is always, always, always exposed and apparent and ready for quick quick searches, which is kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> moving on, there is uh, the settings. Where I'll show you guys the new battery saver thing. It's kind of kind of interesting the way it works. So if I go into my battery, you can see here it gives you the approximate time of how much time you have left before your battery is depleted. Click on the three-dot menu and there is a battery saver little mode here. If you turn it on, you get these orange bars on the top and bottom across the nav bars and across the notification bar there. Uh, turn on automatically at 15%. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, but it's just kind of interesting because no matter what you do, you can see that you are in battery saver mode and that your performance, if you notice your phone acting weird, turned off all the animations. Uh, the CPU is kind of slower, so you know things aren't as fluid and all that funness. But still, very very cool. Let me go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> battery saver. Actually, you know what? You can just turn it off from a notification. So I pull this down. It says battery saver is on. Let's you know again. Turn off battery saver and go ahead and click it there. Uh, really really cool. Really awesome. Uh, now I guess the big thing that everyone is kind of flipping out about is the all new Android 5.0 Lollipop Easter egg. Let me go into uh, about phone. Tap this a couple times, and boom. It's a cute little lollipop. Um, tap it, opens up. It's Android 5.0 lollipop, guys. It's wonderful. Tapping it again will kind of change the color of the lollipop to whatever you like. I'm kind of partial to purple and green and all that. Um, really, really cool. Really cool. Long pressing it. Here's the fun stuff. You get a mother freaking Android Flappy Bird clone built right into it. Let's see, look at that little lollipops, little android guy. It's really really hard to play. Um, behaves a little bit differently if you hold it. Your guy will just fly up no matter what indefinitely. Uh, so you just kind of have to do quick little taps there. But built right in. It's built right into android guys. This this is the easter egg and it's absolutely crazy and wonderful. So um, it actually imported my wallpaper from the previous android L build. Normally there are some new wallpapers. Let me go ahead and show you those. Um, ah, let's jump out of there. This is the kind of default that it sets you up with the Android L. All the paper, all the material, all these crazy cool animations. So, um, video is getting a little bit long, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the cool new stuff with Android 5.0 Lollipop and what you can expect once it finally comes to your devices. Uh, well, I guess if they're running stock Android anyway. So, uh, with that, I am Chris Childwoods with Android.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned with Android for more Android L coverage, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.